These amazing three ingredient sausage balls are low carb, keto, and perfect for any celebration. Let's jump right in. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our saucepan on the stove and we have our mild Italian sausage. And I'm gonna get a lot of questions about this. Can I use turkey sausage? Can I use ham? Um, can I use turkey ground meat? The answer really is yes, we just have to cook it. So I did the mild Italian sausage. I like the flavor. This is something I had in my freezer. It's defrosted. It. I'm cutting it out of the casing or the lining. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And I may be doing this completely wrong. I'm using a knife. There could be some special instrument. All I'm gonna ask is number one, you could laugh at me, that's fine. We, I think you know, laughter in the kitchen is super important. But if you have a tip for me on how to get this sausage meat out of the case and hey let me know in the comments section but really the most important thing to know about this is that you want to pick a low sugar meat and a lot of folks will say well Shelly I thought all meats were low sugar well sometimes you know when you buy something that has flavor to it they'll add sugar so just sneak peek on that label with whatever meat you use please make sure there's no sugar no added sugar the sugar content's low I got this at Kroger you know y'all know I don't spend a lot of money shopping I don't do anything fancy I'm not into fear mongling or anything crazy like that I go to Kroger and Walmart and I just do you know that's that's my life I was raised on the bayou uh, don't buy like foo foo food I, I buy the real deal look y'all I got two kids I, I can't be making 10 different meals and I'm my name is dietitian Shelley for those of you who don't know go ahead and subscribe I'm a dietitian who loves a low carb lifestyle to improve our health including pre-diabetes so go ahead and subscribe to this channel um, and let's kind of get back to our recipe you could see that um, using my wooden spoon to kind of chop up this meat and again if you have a better way just let me know I'm not into fancy techniques or fancy equipment but you know I love any suggestions that you all have and we're really gonna cook this down we have to make sure this is cooked before we put it in our mixture so make sure you do that you know while this is cooking down I'm going to show and tell our other two ingredients we have shredded cheddar yes this is from the Kroger I think it was on sale and we have the amazing almond flour. I think I got this at Sam's. You know, so you can find this at all your stores. Grab those while this is cooking down and we're gonna continue. So it's done. It's done cooking, yippee. Let's grab that bowl and go ahead and add that one and a half cup of almond flour to your bowl. Before I continue, let me just say really quick that um, you can drain the sausage. I just blotted mine down with a napkin. It actually didn't really have that much fat, so that made me happy. But back to that almond flour. Uh, a fourth cup of almond flour has five grams of carbs, three grams of fiber, so two net carbs. I always get these questions like, can I use coconut flour? Which I love questions, please pose them. Um, I'm happy to answer and I spend a lot of time in that comment section so this doesn't hurt my feelings. The issue is I really don't like coconut flour taste. It's great on a low carb plan. Um, it, it just, for me, the taste is off. So I would encourage you to try it, but I don't think it's gonna produce a really good taste because coconut definitely has a flavor to it. I would stick with my almond flour. If you use a different flour, hey, let us know in the comments section. I'm making a tunnel. Um, this is something that I learned in 4-H. I'm adding that two cups of that cheddar cheese. Can you use mozzarella? Yes, I actually would prefer to use mozzarella. Um, I am about saving calories, gang. I'm not an eat all be all girl. Um, because again, you know, you can't eat too much of a good thing. Add to this about a half a cup of water and we're gonna use our spatula and stir. This is gonna take a little bit of time, not like endless amounts of time, like 30 minutes, but it's gonna take a good two or three minutes to kind of get it combined. I probably should have used a bigger bowl and we're gonna spoon in that sausage. You know, you can see it's still kind of smoking. It's gonna help melt the cheese. It's you know, already smelling super, super good. You can see I lined my baking pan with parchment paper. I stink at this. <laughs> this is a video where I'm asking for a lot of tips. So y'all just give them to me. What do I do? Help me out here. And, uh, but here's a tip for y'all. I love using my ice cream scoop. So get that ice cream scoop, scoop out that mixture, put it on that pan and you'll be ready to go. Cook it for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Y'all, this is so good. It's amazing. It's hot. I'm eating it now. I'm going to burn my tongue. And if you were too busy laughing or just enjoying the show and forgot to write the recipe, scroll in that description box. You'll get it there. And of course, while you're there, download my seven day low carb menu. Hello, I'm Dietitian Shelly. If you love this video, be sure to like our channel. Much love.